Good morning. I'm Joe Collins. I'm Executive Vice President of College of DuPage. And I'm very happy to be here this morning to welcome Secretary of State Jesse White and his team who are here to do some publicity about the organ donation program here in the state of Illinois. As you know, or maybe don't know, April is the organ donation month. Jesse White, our speaker today, is Illinois' 37th Secretary of State. He's held the office since 1998. The Illinois Secretary of State's office is the largest and most diverse office of its kind in the nation, providing more direct services to the people of Illinois than any other public agency. Prior to his election as Secretary of State, Jesse White served as Cook County Recorder of Deeds, a job to which he was first elected in 1992. In 1959, when I was one year old, Secretary White founded the internationally known Jesse White Tumbling Team to serve as a positive alternative for children residing in and around the Chicago area. Since its inception, more than 14,000 young men and women have performed with the team. White has spent 54 years working as a volunteer with the team to help kids stay away from gangs, drugs, alcohol, and smoking a tremendous uh, initiative on his part. He also served our country as a paratrooper in the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division, and he also served in the Illinois National Guard and Reserve. He played professional baseball with the Chicago Cubs organization. He had a 33-year career as an elementary school teacher in the Chicago public school system. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree from Alabama State College, now Alabama State University, in 1957, where he was a two-sport athlete, earning all-conference honors in baseball and basketball. In 1999, he was inducted into the Alabama State University Sports Hall of Fame. He was born in Alton, Illinois. He now lives in Chicago's north side. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Secretary of State, Mr. Jesse White. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Collins, Supreme Commander of the Rule of All You Survey. Just honored to be here at this wonderful institution of learning where I know for a fact that some teaching is taking place and learning is in the equation. I'd like to recognize some individuals uh, who are with us today. We have my good friend Tom Brady with uh, Homeland Security Center. He is the director, and I want to thank him for the tour. And uh, Randy uh, Jaffe, he's a um, kidney recipient. He's the gentleman in the blue over there. Blessy Johnson, she's a student leadership uh, council president. The young lady in the middle. And we have um, Marianne Millish, she's a special assistant to the president uh, in the area of uh, public relations. And I think she gave us a tour of this wonderful facility. Mr. Joe Moore, the vice president of communications. And of course, Ken Savage, she happens to be a trustee and a good friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, as was indicated, I run the largest Secretary of State office in the nation. I have 4,000 employees, a $396 million budget, 138 offices, and 23 agencies. I'm also the head librarian for the state of Illinois. I have um, 5,000 libraries that come into my jurisdiction, and we distribute about $77 million a year in support of those wonderful institutions of learning. I'm also in charge of the literacy program, where we have 215 agencies, and we distribute $6.6 .6 million a year to help individuals who come to our great state to learn English as a second language, obtain their GED, and to become better educated and better informed. And then the organ and tissue donor program comes out of my jurisdiction. Corporate financial securities, the keep of the seal, court of claims, license plate stickers, state IDs, the list goes on and on. And just remember, my mission is to help make the roads of Illinois the safest ever. But when we give you a driver's license, we want to make sure that you understand that driving is not a right driving is a privilege. We want the roads of Illinois to be the safest ever. April is Donate Life Month, not just here in Illinois, but across the nation. Here in Illinois, we have 5.5 million individuals who have become organ donors. However, there are 5,000 people on the waiting list as we speak, and each year, about 300 people die because the organs have not arrived in a timely manner. 
We ask that when you're alive and well, give blood. When you're no longer here, give organs. And when you've done those two things, you will have made a positive impact on society, considering the fact that one person can provide life or improve the quality of life for 25 individuals. You may not have a need today, you may not have a need tomorrow, but sometime during your lifetime, you or someone that you may know may have a need for an organ, and we just want to make sure that when that moment arrives, that there will be an adequate supply of organs available. Our campaign this year is be Become a Hero. Well, let me share with you some of my heroes. There's a teacher in New Lakes, Illinois, who gave her student her kidney. A doctor at the Loyola Medical Center gave her patient her kidney. I coach a team called the Jesse White Thomas, and one of my Thomas was coming out of the Fort City Mall and was shot and killed by a gangbang, and as a result of that tragic situation, six of his organs were used for transplantation purposes. And then we had a young lady by the name of Val Landon. Uh, she passed away and nine of organs were used for transplantation purposes and one gentleman received the corners of her eyes. And then there's a teacher down in Dallas, Texas. She gave her student's father her kidney. So we have a lot of heroes out there. We just want to make sure that when that moment arrives that there will be an organ available for you as well. I was a lawmaker in the Illinois General Assembly. And my brother was a pharmacist at the Lakeside VA Hospital. He wasn't feeling well. He was in dire need of some service. And so my mother said, your brother is suffering from a condition of which I cannot describe, but it looks like he has a headache that, that just won't go away. I said, "My, he's a pharmacist. If he has a headache, he certainly should know how to take care of it. Well, as it turned out, uh, we took him to the doctor, and the doctor said he was suffering from an aneurysm. And so we took him to the University of Chicago Hospital, and uh, while he was there, they put him on life support. He was suffering from an aneurysm. And that, that night, a gentleman from the Regional Organ Bank of Illinois asked me, if by a chance he happens to pass away, can we use his organs for transplantation purposes? And I said, no, don't bother him, don't bother us, leave us alone. I was unaware of the program at the time. He passed away that night, and a couple uh, years later, my sister became ill and was in dire need of a kidney. There was not a match within the family, so she put a name on the organ and tissue donor list, and through the generosity of someone else, she got a second chance at life. So there's a lot to be said about this program. There are a number of myths that are out there. Some people will say, uh, the doctor will not put forth a genuine effort to save me because he's concerned about those 25 organ and tissue parts. Your doctor has a commitment to you and to you only. Or they'll say, they're gonna sell those organs. We don't sell organs in this country. Or they'll say, the rich man will get his organs before I get mine. No, there's an order that we must follow. That will not take place. Or they'll say, my religion will forbid me from becoming a part of this program. Most of the religions across the world, or throughout the world, We'll, we'll ask you and we'll allow you to participate in the program. Or they'll say, I will not look good in my going away. More teachers know how to make you look good in your going away. So please don't buy into the myths. Please sign up to become a part of this program. In the back of the room, there are a group of young people who are there and they want to make sure that uh, you fill out the form and it only takes about 30 seconds, about five questions, your name, your address, your city zip code, and your driver's license number or your state ID, and you're good to go. Now, I've been traveling all over the state of Illinois promoting this program, especially with the community colleges, there are about 49 of them. I think this is my seventh community college visit. And in each college, we ask an individual or a group of individuals to set up a program by which they will embark upon asking their colleagues, asking their family members, the faculty members, or their friends to become a part of this program. Uh, we were at the Joliet Community College the other day, and I think we signed up about uh, 35 young, young people within a couple hours. 
And then they tell me down in um, the Lewis and Clark College in um, Southern Illinois that they signed up about 66 within a short period of time. So every day we want to sign up people for this program because when you sign up one person, that can have a positive effect upon the lives of 25 individuals. Now, we have um, a commercial that is being shown all over the state of Illinois, and it's also heard on television, pardon me, on, on radio. Television, the theaters, and radio. And we just hope that you'll get a chance to look at it and uh, digest it and participate in the program. My heroes play sports. Wear capes. Or crowns. My heroes teach others. Sacrifice for our country. And run into burning buildings. Now, it's my turn. Our turn. And your turn to be a hero. Join the Secretary of State's Organ and Tissue Donor Registry. It takes very little time, and one donor can save or greatly improve up to 25 lives. Go to lifegoeson.com. Become a hero today. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you know the rest of the story. Uh, I'd like for Dr. Collins, uh, your president, to come forward. I have an award I'd like to present to him. The State of Illinois Certificate of Recognition, recognition is awarded to uh, College of DuPage for your participation in the 2014 Be a Hero campaign. In Illinois, there are more than 5,000 people on the list for transplantation. 3,300 people died because the organs have not arrived in a timely manner. We want to thank you for being a hero for this life-saving mission. As they would say in my neighborhood, you the man. Uh, as I leave uh, to take my seat, if you want to sign up to become a part of this program, it's simple. You can go to our website. It's www.lifegoeson.com, www.lifegoeson.com. Or if you want to go to uh, the telephone, it's 1-800-210-2106, 1-800-210-2106. Or you could come to one of my 138 facilities and indicates you'd like to become a part of this organ tissue donor program, we will put you into our database so when that moment arrives, there will be smooth transition. Again, thank you for giving, thank you for caring, and thank you for making a difference. And I just want you to know that this is a, an outstanding institution of learning. Uh, I've had an eye-opening experience uh, traveling around this wonderful campus. So love your fellow man and woman. Do all you can to help others to enjoy their quality of life. But more importantly, remember, do something good for someone every day. Thank you.